is Kat Morrell for Third Coast Digest, and I'm here with artist Tony Busulacci at Dominion Gallery. Tony, your work is very complex. There are a lot of pieces, a lot of details, a lot of parts. Um, how do you come up with your ideas? Are there certain places you go to for inspiration, or a certain working process that you have? A number of ways. Uh, sometimes it'll be simply a matter of someone giving me some junk, and they'll give me a challenge. What can you do with this? And so I will sometimes have these bits and pieces sitting in my studio for months, sometimes for a couple of years. And then all of a sudden I'll get an idea. I know what I'm going to do with this and I'll put it together. Or in the case of our one piece over here called Umbrellas Like Red Poppies of Sandy Mount Fuji, my wife and I had taken a hike up Mount Fuji in Japan and I saw all these ladies with their large paper uh, umbrellas. And I was inspired by that. And I got back to our hotel and I took out some paper and pencil. I did a little sketch and I said, it was almost like red poppies going up the side of the hill. So that was inspired with that, with just a, a suggestion of the mountain in the background. This piece right behind us uh, is called Town and Country. And about three years ago, I bought the box, and the box had slots in it. And as soon as I saw this box in a yard sale, I knew exactly what I was going to do. My wife and I go to Door County, and we are torn between town and country. is a, a Tonka truck, Jeep of some sort. This took a year to do, but I'm also a Shriner, so there's a Shriner in there. And this was the first one I did. Once I had that done, uh, I then was inspired to do more. And for example, here's another Icarus. And on this Icarus, all the arms and legs can be moved. You can readjust. The next set was uh, inspired by our Dessous, our uh, Calatrava. Some people refer to them as the wings of the Calatrava. It's a pleasure to see it, and you'll be here at Dominion Gallery until January 31st.